In Thermal, Kitty Alvarado, NBC Palm Springs. Well, this week, we joined NBC news stations across the country with our own report of climate in crisis. We toss it over now to Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett to bring you part two of what climate change means here locally. Mike. Thanks, Sarah. You know, I spoke with climatologists tracking the numbers and biologists who are already seeing the change and the implications for the Coachella Valley. And frankly, they don't look good. But now let's look at some of the solutions and opportunities that exist. Some of them right here in our own backyard. So the more days that we have over 110 degrees and when it's pushing 120, we get people coming in who lose the ability to, uh, to regulate their temperature and they'll come in with internal temperatures of 108, 109 degrees and that's just not compatible with life. We get it. Climate change is happening. It's happening worldwide and faster than we originally thought, but there's really nothing we can do about it. Or is there? Let's start with solar. We get over 300 days per year of pure 100% sunshine. However, the perception is that it costs more to do the right thing. Solar does make sense financially. A typical, a typical payback if you buy solar panels is about seven years. Mm -hmm. And this is on a product that's guaranteed for 25 and expected to last 30 plus years. Let's not forget wind. There's enough wind here. There's enough power here to power probably pretty much the whole valley. Finally, the San Andreas Fault allows geothermal energy to bubble up from the Earth's crust. We have attendees from at least 30 different countries. A convention was held here just this week to explore the possibilities. But until this technology receives the same subsidies as the fossil fuel industry does, it's not being allowed to reach its full potential. We're bringing leading edge technology to the market on a larger scale. Cars. For decades, we've been aware that vehicle emissions are heating and polluting the very air we breathe. Is it time for you to take a look at an electric car or a hybrid for your next ride? Used to be that the choices were either a Prius or a Tesla. Today, there is a wide variety of these vehicles in virtually every price range. Why not? You save money on gas, there are tax credits and rebates, and you get to drive in the HOV lane. How sweet is that? Mostly everything, including SUVs, now come with... Uh with the hybrid options. And finally, you can make your vote count. <laughs> Elected officials on both sides of the aisles are finally coming together on the practicality of energy efficiency and treating climate change as a threat to national security. Next time you vote, know what your candidate's stances and voting records are with regards to environmental issues. There is a way forward and each of the people we spoke with expressed optimism. There's absolutely a path forward. Um, there are things we can do. But I do see a lot of hope. Uh, people get it. People are changing. And finally, the man who started us on this exploration earlier this week, so Mr. Al Roker. If we put our, our collective minds to it, we can make change. Think about this. Ten years ago, we were all talking about the hole in the ozone layer and what was going to mean to us. People got together. They stopped using fluorocarbons. They stopped using the chemicals that, that were eating away at the ozone layer. And now that hole is just about closed. So there is hope for this. Yes, there is, sir. That's good news. For NBC Palm Springs, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett. This special week-long series examining the most important issues impacting the global environment leads right up to the U.N. Climate Action Summit that's taking place in New York City tomorrow. President Trump and leaders from around the world will be in the Big Apple to discuss concrete plans on how we as a world can combat climate change. All right. Thank you, Mike. And in Santa Monica, volunteers clean up the beach for International Coastal Cleanup Day. The 34th annual cleanup is called as the world's largest single-day volunteer effort to fight ocean